guys, in case you can tell by the title, this video is going to be my DIY holiday room decor. I really hope you guys enjoy. I put so much time and effort into this video, so I really hope you guys enjoy. And also I decided to call my Christmas series hashtag Merry Craftmas. So if you recreate anything throughout my hashtag Merry Craftmas series, which is basically the whole month of December, then make sure to use that hashtag. Again, the hashtag is Merry Craftmas in any of your pictures on Instagram to show me. I love seeing you guys' pictures, so I really appreciate it if you could show me, again, just by using the hashtag Merry Craftmas on your recreations. So yeah, I am so excited for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. And yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video because you guys are probably like, this is such a long intro. Can we just get to the video, please? So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the awesome DIY room decor. Starting off with my nightstand, I basically just removed everything, but you just have to remove your far-related items such as pine cones and leaves. So then I replaced it with a snowman placement, which I have no idea where it is from. These really cute little presents which I purchased from Dollar Tree. A penguin bucket which I got for a dollar in the Target dollar section a few years ago. A marshmallow fireside candle which is from Bath & Body Works of course. A couple of pocket backs which are also from Bath & Body Works. A lotion which is again from Bath & Body Works. A chapstick and then this vase is actually a DIY. So basically all I did was got a vase from Dollar Tree and then took some curly ribbon and some miniature ornaments which you can find at Dollar Tree, Target. I got mine from the Target Dollar section last year and then just put the in the vase and you're done. I also got these countdown blocks from Hobby Lobby for $5.99 and they were 30% off of that. And I just put these together. They had really easy instructions in the back and I actually replaced the lotion with these countdown blocks and then I replaced it again. So here is an overall of my nightstand. I ended up adding some Christmas lights, which are from Dollar Tree, and then this really cute stuffed animal, which is a reindeer. And I don't know where I got this, but it is a tie stuffed animal, and it's just a little one. I think it's supposed to be an ornament, but I don't use it as that. Moving on to my desk, I'm just going to remove all the far related items like the pine cones, leaves, pocket backs, candles, and that sort of thing. I replaced the Halloween pin cup with the Christmas sweets pin cup, which I made, and I actually have a tutorial on these, so I will link that tutorial down below if you want to make one yourself. And you don't have to put pins or pencils in these, you can even put flowers or anything like that. Then I added an EOS lip balm as well as a pocket back. For the third DIY, you will need a picture frame. I got mine from Dollar Tree and I painted it gold. Some stickers and some white paper. I used cardstock paper from Michaels. Start by opening up the back of your picture frame and taking everything out. And what you're basically going to need for this is the picture that's inside. And you could also use the glass if you would like, but I'm just going to use the picture. And then we're just going to set the rest of the picture frame aside. So now that I'm just going to take my cardstock as well as my picture from the inside of my picture frame. And I'm just going to take a pen and measure this onto my paper and then cut it out with some scissors so that way it will fit inside my picture frame. Rather than taking some green letter stickers, I'm going to spell out the words Winter Wonderland onto my piece of cardstock paper. You could also spell out the words Let It Snow, Merry Christmas, or anything like that. And if you get on Google Images, you can type in Christmas quotes and it'll bring up a bunch of Christmas quotes. So now this is what it looks like. And I'm just doing winter in green letters and Wonderland in blue letters. And then I just added some more stickers, one that says hot chocolate and one that says Christmas and a few others. And then I'm just going to open my picture frame and place the piece of paper that I decorated inside and then just close up the back of my picture frame. And this is what it looks like once it's done. I think it turned out super cute and I love it. So now that I just placed this on my desk, but you could also place it on your nightstand, your dresser, or anywhere else in your room. And I just think it adds a really nice touch to your room. I'm also going to add this vanilla snowflake candle again from Bath & Body Works. The next DIY is a DIY snow globe. You will need a mason jar, which I got from Dollar Tree. Something to put inside your mason jar. I'm just using these trees from Michaels. Some fake snowflakes. I found these at Michaels as well. And some Craft Bond Elmer's glue, or you can use whatever type of glue. So we're going to start by taking the lid and seal off of our mason jar and then taking the seal and our Christmas trees or whatever you're going to put inside your jar and your glue, we're just going to glue the Christmas tree to the seal. Before you actually glue your item to the seal, you want to make sure that it will fit inside your mason jar so that way later once you have already glued it to the seal, you go to put it in your mason jar and it ends up not fitting. 
So now that we're just going to take our glue and we're just going to place it on the bottom of the Christmas tree as I said and then just stick it down to your seal and let it dry. Now that I'm going to take my mason jar and I'm going to fill it almost all the way to the top with some distilled water. You also want to add some glycerin because it does help your snow to fall nicely and I did not have any at the time of filming but make sure you do add some glycerin. Just a few drops will work. Then I'm going to add in some fake snow and also you can add in some glitter if you would like to just to make it more sparkly but I just added some fake snow. Now then I have my snow globe. I don't know why it looks kind of green in this clip but as you can see I did not add any glycerin and this is what it looks like. All the snow goes to the top of the mason jar so make sure you do add glycerin so that way it will fall nicely. So when you do shake it up this is what it looks like and if you have glycerin obviously the snow is going to fall. So this is what my desk ended up looking like. I think it turned out really nice and cozy and wintry, so I really like it a lot. Moving on to my little rainbow cart, I'm just going to remove the pocket back and lotion. And sorry about the bad lighting too in this clip for whatever reason, but I'm just going to add my lotion from Bath & Body Works as well as the matching pocket back. Then I'm also going to add a few little Christmas trees and you can also take a mason jar and fill it up with some like candy cane kisses or candy canes or something like that instead of the M&Ms that I have in that mason jar. Now then I'm going to remove my fall leaf painting and I'm going to replace it with this snowflake which I got from Dollar Tree and you don't have to hang it up with a nail, you could obviously just hang it up with a thumbtack and it would be just fine. Now then I'm going to remove my orange Christmas lights from my window seal and replace it with these regular Christmas lights and at night time it just makes your room feel really nice and cozy and I love it. This next DIY which I'm going to call a snowflake ornament decoration for your window is really easy to make and I think it looks really cool. You will need some ornaments which I found at Target, some masking tape which you can find at any hardware store and I found mine at Walmart, some snowflakes, I just got mine from Michaels and optional are some beaded necklaces. I'm using these white beaded necklaces which are from Dollar Tree and there are just 8 beaded necklaces on there. You will also need some string or fishing line, I'm just going to be using some fishing line. So I guess I hit record on my camera and apparently it did not hit record like I wanted it to so unfortunately I didn't get a clip of what I did here but it's super easy. All you do is take your fishing line, I cut mine at various lengths or you can also use string but as I said I use fishing line because then it kind of looks like the ornaments and snowflakes are just kind of hanging there by themselves. So basically all I did was took the fishing line and cut it as I said at different lengths and then I just tied it onto the tops of the ornaments and the snowflakes and I knotted it twice. Then taking some masking tape, I just taped it to the top of my window. If you're not allowed to use tape on your windows, then you can just take some thumbtacks and then push them onto your wall and then tie the fishing line around them and that works too. I didn't put the beaded necklaces on here yet, but I do in the next clip. So this is an overview of my window. I turned the Christmas lights on and everything. And as you can see, I have the beaded necklaces here. And all I did with the beaded necklaces is again, cut them at different lengths and then tape them with masking tape again. And you could just use thumbtacks to do the same thing as well. Moving on to my dresser, I'm just going to remove the pine cones, leaves, and candles. And I replaced the candle with a Spice Treats candle from Bath & Body Works. And I also placed a Murray Marshmallow Kiss pocket back from Bath & Body Works as well. Moving on over here, I placed this snowman felt bin which I got from Target in the dollar section last year and put some essentials inside. And this is my dog Jackie, I just wanted to show her to you guys. And also I wanted to throw out there that I will link a video from Beauty Give Me a Beats channel, aka Aliza. She's really awesome and I wanted to link her video down below, her DIY holiday room decor, because it's a really awesome video. So yeah, you guys should definitely go check it out. But anyways, moving back to the room decor, I also placed some of these little presents, which again, I purchased from Dollar Tree. And then I also placed a nice gingerbread pocket bag, again, from Bath & Body Works. Above my calendar, I placed these three wooden letters that spell out the word joy. I already got these glitterized from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents each, and I just hung them on my wall with some glue dots. You could also have them say Merry Christmas, Let It Snow, or anything else you wanted to say. I chose Joy because it was a little cheaper rather than if you did Merry Christmas. It would get kind of costly considering these cost 99 cents each. And you could also put them above your bed, above your desk, or wherever. I just chose to put them above my calendar. This next DIY is something for your bed or a comfy area like a chair or something, but it's just a DIY pillow. These are really fun to make and they're fairly easy, not too complicated. For this DIY, you will need some stuffing. I purchased mine from Walmart, a hot glue gun along with some glue stick refills, or you can also use a sewing machine, some paint in your choice of colors, a foam brush, and some white fabric or a white t-shirt. I'm just going to use a white t-shirt and it doesn't even have to be white if you don't want it to be. 
And you will also need some templates. I got mine from Google Images. I printed out a snowflake, a candy cane, and a Christmas tree. Taking my t-shirt, I'm just going to lay it out and then taking my scissors, depending on how tall your t-shirt is, you can cut it wherever you want. I cut mine a little below the sleeves, but as I said, you can cut it wherever you want. Taking my template, I'm just going to tape it down and then taking my paint and my foam brush, I'm just going to paint the inside of the template. Being very careful not to get any outside of the template. Then I also tried to do a candy cane heart on the back, but it kind of failed, so I ended up doing this on a different pillow. But the Christmas tree, some of the paint got out a little bit, but it's okay. I still think it looks pretty nice. Now that we're just going to turn it inside out so that your outside is facing the inside, basically. And we're just going to do hot glue all of the sides, but leave a 5-6 to six inch opening somewhere, whether it be the top or bottom. So that way we can turn it inside out and we can stuff it. Now that I'm just going to turn it right side out, I think in the last clip I said inside out, but I meant right side out. So find the opening and we're just going to turn it right side out. Now that I turned it right side out and this is what it looks like, I think it turned out pretty nice. And now we're just going to stuff it and glue the opening at the top. Now that this is what my pillow turned out to look like, I think it turned out really nice. I also did one with a snowflake on it, and I actually used glitter instead. So instead of using paint, I just did Mod Podge and then a layer of glitter, let that dry, and then put more Mod Podge over the top to seal the glitter, and I think it turned out really cool as well. Now then, here is my Christmas tree. The Finding Nemo ornaments, the owl ornaments, and the snowflake ornaments that you see are all from Walmart. The tree topper is also from Walmart. The Christmas tree is more than likely from Walmart. I really don't know where the Christmas tree is from. And then the little miniature ornaments that you see are from Target. And then my tree skirt is also from Target. The lights are more than likely from Walmart or Target. I don't know where the lights are from. And the candy canes I made out of pipe cleaners. I ended up removing the pipe cleaner candy canes though. Just so you guys know, I did not leave them on there. But this is just an overview of my tree. I got this really cute snowman from Dollar Tree and I just hung it on my door. You could also hang it on your doorknob or anywhere else in your room. I hung it on my door with a 3M command hook and then put a bow on top of it just to cover up the hook since the hook was white and it stuck out literally like a sore thumb so I decided to put a bow on top. So now then that is all for this video. Sorry that it was kind of long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got some ideas on how to decorate your room for the holiday time and I absolutely love all of my decor and I think it looks really cute in my room. So as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below, tell me which decoration was your favorite and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. Check out my Instagram, which is Crafty Neon Taper and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!